Hi, my name is Dwayne Crawford and I'm the product line manager at Belden. In this video, we're going to talk about installing the fiber. First of all, we want to make sure that we have our installation handle set up properly. So we're going to make sure that the adapter we install in our installation handle matches the fiber that we're about to use. Then we have to put on our launch cord. Now, what we're going to have to do is if it's the first time we're using our launch cord for the day, we're going to want to inspect it using a proper inspection microscope to make sure it's not worn out. Otherwise, we're going to want to make sure that it's clean. So for cleaning, we can use a standard cassette type cleaner, clean it, and then we're going to inspect it. Once it's cleaned and inspected, we can then insert it into our installation handle. Make sure we get both ends. Any dirt or damage we may have on the end face at this time may cause damage to our brand new Brilliance connectors and we want to try to avoid that. Now that we have our handle prepped, ready for it, we're ready to prep the connector. So what do we have to do to prep the connector? First of all, we got to remove the protective cover. Then we're going to put our connector into the installation handle and connectors do ship with the activator tab in the closed position. So if we try to push the fiber in right now, we may actually damage the fiber or break it inside the connector, rendering the connector unusable. So we have to make sure our first step is that we're going to take our little stylus out of our handle and we're going to open the activator tab by pushing it towards the front, towards the ferrule. Now it's ready to uh, have fiber installed. One thing I will note is if you're using an ST connector, we do have to remove the little window that we saw before before we can activate the tab. So we want to make sure we remove this and we don't want to lose this little window. This little window we're going to reinstall after we've terminated the connector. So now that we have the connector prepared in the handle and ready for installation, we have to prepare our cable. So I'm working here with a 24 fiber distribution cable. So the first thing we need to do is strip our jacket back a bit. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use the big notch on my strippers to first remove a small piece of the jacket. Once I have that piece of jacket removed, I gotta be careful because I may have nicked the fiber while doing that and I wanna make sure I don't use that fiber. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my marker and I'm gonna just put a pen mark right on the fiber itself or in the Kevlar. Now, inside this jacket, I'm gonna find a rip cord. So in this case, it's an orange rip cord. So once I've located my rip cord, what I can do is I can put a small cut in the jacket to start the tearing process and then I'm gonna pull my rip cord down the cable. So once I've pulled back about a meter worth of jacket, I can then go back where I made my original pen mark and I'm going to want to make sure that I cut that fiber out. I don't want to be using fiber beyond my pen mark. So I'm going to remove all my Kevlar. I can now cut that fiber, add it into my waste bin, and I can continue to remove the rest of my jacket. Now that I've removed my jacket, I've cut it back, and I removed the portion where I did my initial cut, I'm ready to start preparing fibers for termination. 